Welcome to Life as Usual, a video blog dedicated to make you a more impactful leader through the ideas of self-awareness, execution, and direction. Today, I want to talk about why motivation is nonsense, and you don't need to be motivated in order to make your project happen. If you want to get more information, or if you want to see other videos, feel free to subscribe. I know what you're thinking. Isn't motivation the thing that gets you started and ignited during the day? Well, yes and no. Yes, the motivation can be a wonderful tool to help you feel excited about your day. But as a leader, you're gonna have to act when you're not excited. In fact, a majority of the time you're acting, you're not going to be excited. If you rely on motivation to make that happen for you, you're going to be inconsistent. And people that are inconsistent can't be impactful leaders. So what's so bad about motivation anyway? Motivation's very fickle. Motivation can rely on many factors that you may or may not understand. The human brain is complex. So it can rely on explicit factors, like you had a good day yesterday, or implicit factors that you can't really understand, like something happened to you on the subway three years ago and you saw the color green, and now when you see the color green, it makes you demotivated. The brain's that fickle. We spent years trying to understand it, but we don't. And that's why motivation's not really the thing you wanna rely on because like the brain, it's complex and it's something that you can't rely on to make your idea happen. There are plenty of examples in my life of me not relying on motivation to get where I need to go. For example, I started a gym habit recently and when I was starting it, I tried to use motivation to get me to the gym. And one of the things I realized rather quickly is that when I was motivated, it was never the time to go. And when it was the time to go, I never was really motivated. So as you can see, the biggest frustration with motivation is that it's fickle and it happens when it wants to. If you wanna have impact as a leader, you can't rely on the fickle nature of motivation. You need to have tools and structures in place to help you perform when your team needs you. Have you ever wondered why you can't stay consistent when you're motivated to get started? Why is this important to me? Well, motivation stopped my gym habit for two years. Instead of getting up and going to the gym based on a system or a condition or a habit, I was relying on motivation and when I went to the gym, I did everything not to do it. For example, I remember when I was about to go and I realized, realized that I didn't have lotion to put on my skin after I did the workout. So all of a sudden that became a damper to my motivation. And instead of going to the gym, I just went to sleep for another two hours. Doesn't that sound ridiculous? When I did it, I felt ridiculous. I spent two years looking for small things like lotion or a brush or shower shoes. And each time that I didn't have the thing I needed, I missed out on the opportunity to improve my life and get into the gym. When I stopped relying on motivation and focused on the exercise we're about to discuss, I went from a zero day habit to a four day a week habit. And one that I hit consistently, even when I travel for work or projects, even when I'm at home with my family, even when I don't feel good at work, I consistently go to the gym. So this exercise is something I like to call, how long is two minutes anyway? And actually you can find an abridged version in an older video. But now I wanna focus it on an idea of self-awareness, 
execution and direction so that you'll be able to see it in all three phases of leadership in order to implement it in your life today. Why do I call this how long is two minutes anyway? Well, because two minutes in most people's heads isn't a long time. As a matter of fact, it's something that we use in general when we talk to our friends and family. Hey, that will take us two minutes. It's only two minutes. So how long is two minutes anyway? Well, in terms of self-awareness, time is relative. And because time is relative, when you operate with the idea that you're only using two minutes, oftentimes you'll do more than two minutes for the task. So that takes us to execution. One way you can do this is have a timer on your phone or on your computer that's set up for two minutes. And what this will do is it'll put you on the clock so that you'll feel the ignition to move forward. And that's a big difference. We're not talking about motivation here. We're talking about pure ignition. We're using our brain's feeling of getting things done to make us get started on anything. So here we're talking about direction. With the direction of this, you wanna put this towards a goal or an idea that you have, and you wanna be explicit about that goal. So you're gonna say, I'm going to spend two minutes doing that. In my case, it was two minutes going to the gym. I'm just gonna get up, put on my shoes, and walk out the door towards the gym, right? The idea is just that two minutes, focusing on that action is going to guide you to the next action that's going to help you start a habit that'll help you become more consistent. If you notice, there's no place for motivation in that flow. You're just getting yourself to do two minutes of the next action, which guides you to the next action, which guides you to the next action. And in terms of direction, you wanna make sure that you write that next action down before you get started on executing the first action so you don't have time to wander. As a recap, this exercise is called, how long is two minutes anyway? The self-awareness, you wanna think about the idea of two minutes being short. On the execution phase, you want to either set a timer or think about two minutes and just start doing. And for the direction phase, you want to write down what your next step is so that when you execute, you're able to get to that next step quickly. If you want to dive deeper into this, there's a couple of books that I recommend that'll help you get more of an understanding around motivation and how to not use it to get the job done. In the description, you'll find some books that have helped me figure out how to pull motivation from my workflow and start being more consistent in the actions I take. Thank you for watching this video. I think that leaders come from a lot of places and I'm not the only one that has this knowledge and you're not the only one that has this knowledge. We'll all be better off as a tribe and a community if we share. So feel free to dive deep in the comments below and start the conversation.